Hello everyone, Mr. Light Visual here with another tutorial. In this video, we are going to detail the section using Building Information Modeling Methodology or Strategy, BIM. The objective here is to model well and spend less time doing your documentation and this will make you produce consistently good quality um, drawings for the construction of your architectural projects. Without any further ado, let's get started. I have this project that we're going to use to carry out our exercise. So we're going to cut a section along the length of this building. Let's not waste time and get started. Let's do it. So I'll go to the ground floor. Here under the ground floor, I already placed a section marker that we're going to use for our section view. So I'll select it and then right click it to open our section with the current view settings. So this is basically the section. If you look at um, this view, it has a lot of issues that needs to be resolved. I'm talking about things like foundation, uh, foundation work where you have your footings, your concrete footings in place and your foundation walls in place. And also if you look at the um, the roofing also missing a lot of details um, as you can see you cannot take this uh, drawing to the contractor to start building this project so we need to um, do and bring uh, this drawing to that standard for uh, for construction purposes so I'm gonna start uh, that's basically it for this uh, exercise but I'm gonna start by uh, resolving the issue of our foundation way to do that i'm going to go to uh, the view map under the view map here you see this um, folder structure that's in, in a hierarchy that is based on the disciplines that are involved in design and construction of a project so if you open the architectural folder and then there's architectural plans there's foundation um, view there so as you can see it's, it's blank there's information that needs to be placed for it to be captured in different uh, or in various views like reports and section that we are going to look at today. So I also have a presets of uh, these components that I'm going to use. As you know, building information modeling uh, strategy uses uh, models that are data and the data rich or models that has data to define the project. So I already have that in favorites. So I'm going to go to window and to bring the favorites palette. Or fibrous tab. Click on it to bring it. As you can see here, there is. Um, let me expand this to, for you to see nicely. There is uh, uh, also a, a folder structure that addresses the construction um, process or construction stages of the buildings. So it has your substructure, your superstructure, your interior construction, and then later you do your services. Yeah, that's like that. So we're going today's video. We're going to focus under substructure where we are doing our foundation work so if we click on footings you see there's um, there's uh, different types of footings there. Well, the first one is for columns and then this one is for your normal footing work for your brickwork so that's basically what we're going to do if I move this thing to the side and then we're going to start by tracing the above floor the ground floor is a footprint of our foundations so what I'm going to do I'm going to right click on it ground and then show as trace reference so that we can now start placing by tracing on the footprint or where they're supposed to be a footing so what i'll do i'll double click on this one to activate the parameters of this tool so that i can now start drawing so i'll pick the outside of the wall and then i'll use the chained geometry method for uh, drawing this and then go that way and just like that but for the sake of of, of this demonstration i'll just leave it halfway like that so this window will pop out is because we didn't we could have done it before we started placing it so we needed to link this uh, foundation or footing work to the relevant view which is foundation level but I'll, for the sake of this i just say continue and then go to ground floor and then select the footing concrete then link it to where it's supposed to be perfect it will disappear here and then now it will be captured on your 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 foundation plan so another thing is to place the foundation walls click on the foundation folder and then i'm gonna use this one wall foundation 
I could have used this one so that it can draw both the footings and the concrete um, 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 and the foundation wall at the same time. But when you um you want to account for each component separately, so that's hence I've used this one. I will double click in it to load the parameters of it and then start tracing over the brickwork from the ground floor plane, just like that. just like that and again for the sake of this i'll just leave it halfway like that oh sorry we forgot again to link that i don't know why i keep on forgetting but let's cancel that would click on it and then start by linking to the home story first that's where now you can start drawing the foundation wall just like that I'll leave it here okay perfect if you un switch off the trace this is the information that you have for your foundation for your foundation let's check on the let's close this and then check on the section what is being captured perfect there we go but if you see here we need to resolve this issue I think there are lines overlapping as you can see so the height of the uh, the foundation wall has to stop at the height of your your floor finish that's practically how it's supposed to be done in construction so what i would do i would click on the settings of that of the wall and then instead of having 136 i will just use 120 for the sake of it to connect to the height of the floor finish Perfect. Now it's sitting on the level of the floor finish. What I need to resolve is this issue, this line. So this line is made, it's from the the mesh. So what I would do, I would right click, select the mesh, and then right click, and then bring the solid element operation, so that I can use this to subtract this line. So I'm going to use the terrain as the target, and then the wall, the foundation wall as an operator. And then use just a subtraction um, operation and then execute to clean up the that lines unnecessary line perfect um some may think you may ask yourself what what about this line line here it represents um it, it's way supposed to be the 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 dpc the dump proof course uh, that membrane we use to to for waterproofing so it has to go all the way that and then go down to connect with the dpm for uh, waterproofing the the floor slab so we're going to uh, go further and place some details that uh, needs to be there so let's go back to our foundation and then if we bring our favorites tab again we'll go to palettes favorites tab and then this case this time around under mesh and slab let me just expand this we'll start with the waterproofing double click on the waterproofing to activate the two and then i'll draw just a small portion of that here oh again we're supposed to link it cancel link it to the foundation just like that and then just place there so if you go to your section view, this information is being captured here. So what we need to do is just to align it to the height where it's supposed to be. Just like that. It's supposed to sit right at the bottom of your 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 concrete slab. So another thing that we need to place is the is the sand blinding. And then place the compaction fill for 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 this so what i'll do i just duplicate this because that's the same position and it is the same to duplicate it and then place it under the sand blinding this time around i'm going to apply um a mesh for sand blinding so what i'll do i'll select it and then say apply so let's check on it there we go Let's bring it down to the bottom of your waterproofing. 
there we go and then another thing is the compacted uh, material source so I'll duplicate that as well as long as you're using the same tool that's way you can do this um, method and then I'll select this and then apply it went above so let's bring it down we're supposed to be like so perfect and then now we need to clean up this uh, overlapping material from from the, the the mesh so what i'll do i'll select the the mesh first then right click to bring up the solid element operation this here the target will be the the terrain and then the compaction material will be the operate i'll pick it as an operator and then i'm going to use subtraction with upward extrusion this time around so that to extrude the above covered material and then hit execute <clears throat> there we go perfect now we have a clean um, connection of these components which is a good thing so as you can see now and then from here um, just to uh, show you the benefits of doing uh, using building information modeling or using objects that are data rich you can um, extract data that is like uh, this if you go under reports in this template under report and then maybe for bill of quantities let's check the substructure folder and then we can now start to um, extract information of a brickwork in foundation as you can see you can merge this file to have one and then the total surface area if you unmerge all the components are being captured here so uh, the reinforcement of the brickwork also it's captured it here this is, is it's measured in length and then footing concrete the information is also captured here it's also measured in volumes as you can see if you merge here to put, give you the total volume of already placed for footing footing concrete that's basically the, the the few advantages of using building formations another advantage is that let's go back to our section view and then i will show you how to now place the annotations if you bring up your your favorite or just just go to the label two under label two there is this arrow for favorites so you can click on that to check different types of labels go back under this z z general annotation labels there are different types of annotation labels so what i'll do click on one of these and then start labeling click on that it's been set to extract the classification of 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 these components as you can see i can just do that and then arrange this nicely like so and then do the same to these guys here just like that you're not supposed to type in or to type in this specifications no oh, sorry and then for you just to arrange or to to make sure this annotation sits the way you want in your drawing just like that Oh, sorry you can spend time and try to depending on your standard but for the sake of this demonstration I'll just do a quick one just like that as you can see um, let me take this time to thank you guys for tuning in to this video i'll see you in the next video but if you want this template i'll put the link in the description so that you can go, go and download it um uh, for those guys who wants to uh, buy this template i'm giving an opportunity to 
um, I'm giving an offer, which is this project. I'll offer you pro this project for free if you buy the template. So just go down and click on that link of the template, um, purchase it, and then send me the the proof of purchase and your email or your name so that I can check on the list of people who purchased. And then I'll give you this project for free. As you can see, it's made up this template also. You can learn a lot from this project um, in terms of um, modeling for modeling using building information modeling strategy. So it has a lot of uh, features that you can borrow or use also as your resources for your projects as well. So yeah, thank you guys again once again. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.